My mother-in-law is a psychotic woman and a control freak. My daughter-in-law, she's totally unpredictable, especially when she's drunk. Yeah, I was drunk last night because I, I can't handle you. My mother-in-law drives me absolutely crazy. She really has emotional problems. She's a miserable human being. She's a bitch. I just don't respect her. She does not have much education. They do talk French when I'm around. Very difficult with the French speaking. It just feels like chaos. She gets upset if I just say one sentence. She blows up for everything. Yeah, you are being ridiculous because I'm married no. to your son. I don't no. have to. When my mother-in-law walks through the door, I feel like I could explode. If something doesn't go her way, she starts freaking out. She's also thrown matches all over the floor, pretending that she's gonna start the house on fire. The night before we were married, she threw a prenup, faxed it over, and all of a sudden the rules just started coming in. My mother can be very pushy. Oh, and here are the cigarette uh, she smokes. It's none of her business what I do. I'm an adult, I can smoke. If I wanted to sit and criticize everything she did, it'd be too long of a list. My mother-in-law has a key to the house and can come and go whenever. You come in here and you think that you can do whatever. Have you ever asked me for the privilege to live in my house? Well, no. You know what? My All right, this is gonna <laughs> really get nasty. Me. One day I came home and my drawer was empty. My mother-in-law decided that she wanted to move my underwear and socks into another room. She calls all the time, 20 to 30 times a day. My mother is borderline stalker. My mother called us and she said she was gonna come down on Valentine's Day. and She wanted to take me out to dinner without my wife. I bought this house before Pierre knew his wife. They are draining my finances. If my mother-in-law thinks that I'm mooching off of her, she definitely is crazy. Amanda married my son because she assumed he had money. She has been a burden. My son jumps for every little wish she expresses. He's like a slave. He behaves like a slave. Pierre's scared to stand up to his mom. She does basically control money and assets. I'm OK with the price I have to pay for, for the luxuries that I have here, thanks to my mother. She bought me a Mercedes. My wife has a much bigger problem accepting the financial help that my mother gives. It would be difficult to choose if I had to choose between the two. If he stays with Amanda, he's not going to uh, inherit my money. I'm contemplating on getting a divorce. So I have decided to sell the house unless there is a major change that occurs after the input of Dr. Phil. Are you, are you sure you're sitting on the right side? <laughs> this is the this? side I want to be are on. Are you yeah. surprised <laughs> that he's not sitting over here with his mother? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, that's a pretty outrageous okay. statement. You're, you're trying to trivialize it by saying, I mean, it would be hard, but of course I would choose her. Would you really, and are you choosing your wife in what is clearly a turf war and a power struggle here? Yeah, I'm definitely on my wife's side. It's just very difficult to choose between your mother, you know, and your wife. I mean, I shouldn't have to make the choice. How old are you? I, uh, 38. Are you, in fact, a meddling mother-in-law? Are you wanting to get rid of her? Well, I think she's creating a huge problem. She's destroying my son's life, uh, both financially and career-wise, because of uh, the problem she has. She has an alcohol problem, and she completely distorts you what other one. people say. You are delusional when you are really drunk. You don't want her help. You don't want her fixed. You want no, him no. to divorce I, her. I, you I, have said, I, and I quote, I studied psychology and psychiatry in college. Mm -hmm. And I am confident that she is insane. Well, I don't know if I said insane, but she, Actually, you when said she's drunk, alcoholic, insane, mentally ill, well, serious mental well. problems, emotionally disturbed, the weirdest woman I have ever met. I have students who are mentally ill. One is schizophrenic from LSD, and I know. That's what you said, if you want yes. to be accurate. No, no, I did say that I compared her to those uh, students. Yes. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.